what many refer to as holy ground or ground zero, a 9-11 memorial. Let's learn some of the stories behind this iconic architecture. Israeli-American architect Michael Arad watched the second plane hit the World Trade Center from his roof and saw the South Tower fall. Not long after, he had a dream where he saw two square voids in the Hudson River, with water cascading down and never filling up. Responding to his emotions as a designer, he made a model of it, took a picture, and put it aside. It was purely a cathartic exercise. It wasn't until 2003, when a design competition for a memorial was announced, that he revisited these ideas. There were 5,201 entries from 63 countries in the competition, and Arid's design, called Reflecting Absence, was chosen. His original design incorporated below-ground galleries where visitors could walk in the footprints of the towers, and the walls of water would descend over the engraved names, but cost and security caused the idea to be nixed. What you see is two large reflecting pools that take the shape of the footprints of the towers, where individual strands of water flow over the edge and weave together, it disappears into a granite infinity. What you hear is the muted sounds of the city, the waterfalls, making the site a contemplative sanctuary. And what you touch are the names of 2,983 victims, inscribed on 152 bronze panels that surround the memorial pools. The names are strung together in a way that reflects thousands of complex interpersonal relationships, what Arid called meaningful adjacencies. Over 1,200 families wish for loved ones' names to be connected to other loved ones' names. The number of interlocking adjacency requests meant that laying out the names by hand would be nearly impossible, and it took a special software to create an algorithm to address everyone's desires. It was completed for the 10-year anniversary, and on September 12, 2011, the memorial opened to the public. In just three months after its opening, the memorial had been visited by over one million people. It's also important to remember that the design of the site isn't just for memory. It re-knit Lower Manhattan, and it's just a great public space. But in the end, though there were many compromises and design changes made during the nine-year process, the big idea stayed true. The memorial doesn't look much different from Aaron's cathartic exercise created just days after the 9-11 attack.